I am in the woods of Slenderman, and there's the uh, motorhome that exploded a couple weeks back. Let's take a look inside with my handy dandy flashlight. Oh my god, holy fucking shit, everything's destroyed. Somebody wrecked this thing really bad, apparently. Oh my god, there's like shit everywhere. That's scary, man. Oh my god, look at all this wreckage. Man, somebody really went to town with this thing. Oh my god, look at all that glass. Ah! Almost got caught up there. Whoa, who could have done this? Oh, hey. Whoa. Somebody left a championship belt here. Well, that was nice of them. I think we can use this. I made my hardcore North Wrestling debut! And uh, I don't think I ended up winning the match. I faintly remember, but uh, I didn't get the, quite the debut that I was hoping for. But rest assured, young ones, it's a new day! <laughs> and not only am I gonna win my match tonight, I'm going to be the first ever Hardcore North Wrestling Champion! <laughs> uh, sorry about that, folks. I'm going to win tonight. Dude, you died. You got choke slammed to your death. Tonight, I don't believe you. Your opponent choke slammed you. To your death, so you die. What? That's so. I never knew. I'm so. I'm so shocked at this. It just makes me wonder. The fuck are you doing? What the fuck is? I get excited sometimes. You need to show some respect to your elders. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. No! No! Oh, oh, oh. What? No! I said. Who? Who's this whipper snapper? I've never oh, seen him before in my life. Who the fuck are you? The question, gang, was I am Ralph Knight. I am the first hardcore North Wrestling general manager. I thought we didn't have a general manager. Yeah, I thought we didn't have a fucking general manager. I thought we only had doctors. Enough! I will speak now. Since you two want to go at it, does you two want to go like all crazy enough? I got a line, I got masses lined up for you from the sky top. I think you two want to enjoy what we have. Really? Really? Young blood. Remember that match you had with Zig Steels? Yeah. The Dr. Purple Hybrid? Yeah. People love that match. They want to see a repeat. No, and no, I, we can top that. Know how? Why? Tell me. We're going to put a K with both of you in. But not going to be any K. I made a double. I made a, I made a deal with somebody. We're going to have this in a K from Hell Max. A case from Hell Max? Let's... Hey! <coughs> He's 
talking. Let him speak. In this equipment, my brother, my brother, Eustace, is a tough fellow. This Prince Kamori whippersnapper is going to get the shit whipped out of him. Prince Kamori can just beat the shit out of your brother like I did to you. Bozo did to you. Nah, both of you. Now, when these three men win their, if, in these matches, the winner of these three matches will be contender for the first ever Hulk Court North Wrestling Champion when we found no, we found randomly in a, in a place. So, I will recommend you, Mr. Youngblood, to yeah. get ready because your match is next. Cool. What an explosive turn of events for our professional wrestlers! By order of our general manager, Ralph Knight, the winners of each match tonight will become a contender to become the first ever Hardcore North Wrestling Champion. The stakes have never been higher, and the greatest backyard wrestling title will be put on the line! Now first up to kick things off of Hardcore North Wrestling, we have a rematch from our classic other matchup. Chick Steel will face off against Youngblood one more time in a Cage from Hell match. You must trap your opponent in a cage, and from there on, the loser will face consequences unknown. And after that, we have an epic matchup. Press Komori will face off against Eugene's brother, Eustace Walden, in an I Quit match. No pinfalls, no submissions. All you have to do to win the match is make your opponent say the dreaded words, I quit. And then after that, we come to our main event with our debuting Reaper going up against the ruthless Barboza in a playground match. How this match works out, they're gonna start off in the regular battlefield and they're gonna be provided with a forerunner. They will drive out to the scene of a playground. Only there will there be a fall counted. And remember, whoever ends up winning this one will become a contender for the Hardcore North Wrestling title. This is going to be Hardcore as fuck! The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a Cage from Hell match. Making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Young Blood. I keep the cage, but I can't control it. So stay away from me. The beast is ugly. I feel the rage, and I just can't hold it. It's scratching on the walls, in the closet, in the halls. It comes away. Ready. And his opponent. From Huntsville, Alabama, Jig Steel! Hello everybody and welcome to our first match of Hardcore North Wrestling. I'm Wubs Welker, and these two have already gotten started. Jay Steele and Youngblood had an epic match in our main event from a couple weeks ago in our first episode of Hardcore North Wrestling, where Youngblood surprisingly emerged victorious, and he already gets him up with that trash can. Oh my god! Oh my god, and he intercepts it, wow. Anyway, as I was saying before, these two had an epic match from a couple weeks back, and I'm not sure how Jake Steele came back from this, but he actually ended up coming back from an exploding camper match where he got violated. Oh my god, holy shit, what's he doing? Oh my god! He just slammed him onto that fucking trash can! That thing is bent in half! Jake Steele's down! Hell, he might even be dead! Oh my god! I was so distracted in flashback lane from that epic last match that I was totally distracted. I didn't know that they were developing this fast. Jig Steel's already got that that trash can off of his back. I'm not sure how Jig Steel managed to survive an exploding camper match, but then Eugene Zamzizaru came back from the dead pretty much. 
I don't understand how this works either. Anyway, he's got a bit of a headlock. A nice back punch. He's getting him up again. Oh my god. That's going to create a little bit of a uh, concussion to Youngblood. Oh my god, and a nice adapted uh, wolf drop kick. Wow. Surprisingly well done. I didn't know he was that much of a technical wrestler, even for a wolf. And a bitch slap. Wow. Not much of a bitch slap, but whatever. And now he's stomping him back on the foot. We all know what happens with the foot if he can't uh, stand up by the time he gets dragged back into the cage. He doesn't have as good of a chance to try and escape. Now he's got that rake. I wonder what he's going to do with that. And he's setting up the remains of that trash can. What the fuck? There's a German Shepherd in the ring. There's a German Shepherd on the battlefield. Jake Steele's calling for help. You son of a bitch. You can't do that. God damn it. If he can't beat him one on one, he's got to cheat to beat Youngblood. This is bullshit, man. You can't call for interference. Oh, and a rolling DDT flips him over. And now he's calling for the backup. The German Shepherd's trying to help him out any way he can, but he's not doing much help. And now he's barking. This is like the worst ever security crew I've ever seen in my entire life. This German Shepherd's just watching them. Watching his brother and get sleeping. That's so bad. He's watching his brother be put to sleep in that sleeper hold. Oh my god! Now he's got him in a rifle! He's got him in a rifle! He might shoot him! Oh my god, this is so touchy! He might shoot him! Now he's telling him to get in the cage! He's got no choice! Oh my god, he's grabbing the rifle! He's grabbing the rifle! He got distracted! Oh my god, he gets him up by the back of his knee! Now he slaps him again! His security dog is trying to get into the match again! I gotta say, this would normally be not fair by any means for a Jig Steel in this match to have assistance, but that German Shepherd in the background isn't doing him much good anyway. And now he's setting up the cage. Normally, I would say what the uh, what the stipulation of the match would be and what to expect from this cage from hell match, but honestly, whether Youngblood or Jig Steel get trapped inside that cage after that, we don't know what's going to happen. It's a cage from hell match, so I'm assuming it's not going to be any good. So I'm assuming OJ Steele's calculating his next move. Oh my god! And he calculated that perfectly with that calculator! Holy fucking shit! He got him in the back of the head again! Now he's got that air pump. Oh my god. He might as well just pump it up with that calculator. Oh my god! Right to the ribs! By god! He can't take this kind of endurance, man. I don't know if Jig Steel can handle this. And he hits him back with a skateboard! Right back to the same part of the ribs that he hit with Jig Steel with. Now he's grabbing some Mountain Dew. He's starting to uh, refuel a bit. I'm not sure if that's legal. Maybe like some kind of wrestling steroid or what. And he just threw that can away. That's littering, you son of a bitch. Oh, he's got him up. Oh, my God. He flips him over right by the cage. Now he's getting him up at the ribs again. Can we see him possibly put him into the cage? No, he's setting him up for a Boston Crab, maybe. Jake Steele knows what's coming. He got set up in this before. Oh, wait, no. What's he doing? No, he's grabbing him up. He's got him in the ankle lock. He's coming the ankle lock again. If his feet can't support him, he can't. He can't possibly escape once he gets through the cage. He's got little chance of escaping if he ever gets through there. Youngblood's got this all set up, and now Youngblood gets pushed back down. Good defense by Jig Steel. Oh my God! Now he flips him around. Oh my God! As his comrade, the German Shepherd, watches by, he's gonna try to put him in his own boss and crab. No, Youngblood forces him out, and he hits him on the head with that skateboard. Jake Steele just landed on his head with that skateboard. And now the German Shepherd's trying to interfere again. I don't know how Youngblood can keep his concentration in this match, not only having to deal with Jake Steele after their hellacious exploding camper match, but also having to face that German Shepherd in the background. I don't know how he does it. And now he's got him tied up with Jake Steele. And now he's got him up. He's got him in a fireman's carry. What the fuck is he going to do? Hit, look at the strength of Youngblood! Oh fuck no! He's throwing him away! You son of a bitch! You can't do that! This is pretty much against animal cruelty! Oh my god! Oh my god! An exploding garbage can! You son of a bitch! Do you have any idea what you've just done? He's an animal, damn it! He has rights too! He has feelings! Now he's trying to roll away! But he can barely walk away after that huge explosion. And not to mention also be putting in that ankle lock from a couple minutes back. I don't know how Jig Steel has the strength to even get out of that garbage can. Oh my god! Oh my god! Exploded spear! Exploded spear out of nowhere! 
Son of a bitch! I honestly don't know how Jake Steele will ever be able to turn this around now. He had the advantage over Youngblood early with the help of that German Shepherd and just outpowering him. But now he's screwed, man. He doesn't have ener any energy left. Meanwhile, he's got Youngblood's got energy to spare. Oh my god, he's setting him up for another move. What's he gonna do this time? Not only does he slap him again, he gives him the middle finger. He's got him up again. Oh my god. Stunner! Stunner! He just stunned Jake Steele! He's dead! I'm pretty sure, I'm like 90% sure he's dead! Oh my god! But if you kill Jake Steele, that's not how you win the match! The only way a match this is ever going to end is if somebody gets placed into the cage from hell! And now Jake Steele is running away, trying to recuperate! Possibly get a little bit of assistance on his end! No! And now he's punching the shit out of him! Oh my god! Jake Steele still got some energy left of him! He's going to try to force him in the cage of hell! Young Bloods! Young Bloods in trouble! No, young blood's getting up now. Jake Steele's placed his head on top of the cage from hell. Oh my God! Now he's smashing his head onto the top of the cage. There's gotta be some kind of blood, and now it's strong enough to flip him over. Oh my God! I don't know if Jake Steele even has the energy to get back up now. His ankle's been twisted. He's been stunned right to the face. He's been set on fire. He's exploded. He's been tipped over by a garbage can. And that exploding spear. By God. I really hope animal control doesn't get on her ass. And he's got him in another ankle lock. Oh my God. And he's got nowhere else to go. He can wiggle out all he wants. But that's only going to force him back into the cage. The cage from hell is right there. Jake Steele is already halfway in. All young blood's got to do is force him in. And then lock the cage. Oh my God. The, uh, the cruelty too. Jake Steele is being placed in the same cage that he was probably born in. The irony in this shit is just amazing. And now he's got him scrunched in. He can't force himself out. He got put into that ankle lock. And there's the bell right there. The outcome of this match has already been decided. Youngblood takes two victories over Jake Steele. Now he's got him locked into the cage from hell. He declares victory on his opponent with the double middle finger. My god. Meanwhile, while Jig Steel is going to face consequences unknown in the cage from hell, Young Boy is going to face his own escape in that lawnmower and going to drive away, maybe do a donut around to insult Jig Steel for his previous attacks. And remember, folks, with this victory, Young Blood is now our first contender for the Hardcore North Wrestling title. Take your victory, Young Blood. Oh my god. Look at all the wreckage in the ring. There's that skateboard from earlier, there's a calculator, there's an air pump. And there he is! And we're going to get out of here! Oh my god! He just got struck by fucking lightning! Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my god! This guy got just got sent to hell! What the fuck, you son of a bitch? That was a human torpedo! Look at this! This guy got struck by lightning! Never would have thought I'd seen that! Human torpedo! And then he gets sent to hell! My god! The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is an I Quit match. Making his way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio, Eustace Walden. And his opponent, from Highway 86, Chris Hello H&W fans, I'm Wubs Wilker bringing you our second match of the night. Chris Kamori and Eustace Walden are going to go out in an I Quit match. Okay then. And apparently Eustace was trying to mount some kind of offense with uh, some bitch slapping. And Chris Kamori easily swats him away, wow. Ask him. Eugene. Do you quit? Oh, no! 
And Eustace apparently doesn't want to quit. Wow. Apparently, I would have thought that he had some broken bones or something for his age and size. But you know what they say, the older you get, the more stubborn you become. And Presco Mori is going after that knee again. And he's going to try and do it one more time. We've seen him do this before against uh, Eclipse in his last match. Eustace, do you quit? Never! And he says he's never going to quit. Wow. And now he's got him with that heater. He's got a heater set up. All you setup. had to do was say you quit. And he warned him, oh my god! He just hit him in the ribs with that fucking heater! And now he's got him in the back! Oh my god! He's gotta quit now! He's fucking broken! And now he's got him in that cleaning utensil. And he's on the back, and he caught him! He's caught him again! Oh my god! Now he got him on the kidneys! Right to the side of the kidney! He had an injury from his match against Eclipse! That's gotta be stinging like a bitch right about now! And just dinged him on the back to add some insult to injury! Oh my god! That had to have hurt! That had to have pierced his kidney! God damn! And let's see. He's gonna try and uh, ask him. Press Kamori! Press Kamori, do you quit? No! What the, the fuck? The boy is not gonna quit. He went that ah. shot to the kidney, his injured ah. kidney. Ouch. Ah. And now he's sending him up on the legs again. Trying to possibly up. Away. Oh my god! Chris <laughs> Kamori just said, get the ah. fuck away from me. Created some distance ah. using that heater as a projectile. Ah. It's a good thing he had that handy with him. And Press is here to let him go ah. through with this. Ah. He's not taking ah. you, Gene. Oh, I'm sorry, Eustace, seriously. It's hard to tell them apart, honestly. But wow, Press Kamori's getting his arms stretched out. He's so goddamn skinny, so that's gonna hurt him, too. He's got an entire stretch mark right in his arm. Oh, my God. He's just having all of his limbs picked apart piece by piece, starting with his left arm. It's got stretch marks all over it. Press is gonna have a hard time getting up from that. He's not gonna have any of his matchups used as... Oh, my God! Even with that stretch mark on, he still hits him with a really nice stand-up clothesline. Now he's got him in the back again with that cleaning utensil. He's cleaning up shop here. And he's caught him again! Oh my god! And he sets him up back on the knee. Press Kamori's down. He's helpless! Oh my god! This is a time to capitalize! And now he's picking him up the ass and the legs with that cleaning utensil again! Oh my god! Press Kamori is down and out. I bet this wasn't the uh, situation that he thought he was going to be put himself into. Now Eustace is telling him to get up. Obviously he's had a sh share of uh, back pains. He set him up for some. Press Kamori is getting impatient. He's going to try and set him up for some. Maybe another clothesline. And he's got him. Oh, Holy fucking shit. Just set him with a spine buster. An exploding spine buster. Press Kamori is going to be dead. He's got to quit. Oh my god! Uh, do you quit? Uh, Press Kamori, do you quit? No! Oh my god! Now he's gonna try to get in wiggle no. his way out. I would have thought for sure he would have said the words I quit after that exploding spine buster. His back has gotta be destroyed. He can't even get up anymore. I thought for sure he would have said that and the match would have been over. I don't know how he's that resilient. I thought Press Kamori was screwed. Oh my god, Eustace is having a heart attack! Eustace just had a heart yeah, attack! Pathetic son of a bitch. Oh my god! He's fucking dead! He just got up after a fucking heart attack! Oh my god! Don't blink! Watch this shit! What's more setting him up? What the damn shit! Oh my god! Code breaker! Code breaker out of nowhere! Right to the face! Ask him! Oh my god! Eustace, do you quit? Holy fucking Fuck shit! No. And Eustace still doesn't want to quit. The cameraman asked him, Eustace, do you quit? He still says no. I would have thought for sure after that code breaker. He got me, and he's got him with his signature slow sign. It does his signature. Ouch! Oh my god. Right to the back. That's great. I still, oh my god, a low blow. He just hit him in the dick. He just hit him in the dick. Oh my god, that's any man's weakness right there. That's a, that's a dirty shot by Yuji. And now he's gonna try and hit him with his own signature traffic weapon. His own slow caution sign. By God, it's like it's a way of insulting him. Puss Kamori's gonna have to check things out just a little bit. And he's gonna try and grab it. He's got his sign back. And he's gonna throw it away just so Eustace won't try and steal it again. That's a smart decision. 
He's in range now. Eustace is thinking of a spider. Oh my god! Press Kamori caught him! Press Kamori caught him! Oh my god! Holy fucking shit! He just caught him with that crap. Ask him! Him. He tried to set him Use up with this, do you buster. quit? Press oh, Kamori saw him. Fuck. He got caught in the air. And he just got caught with the, that code breaker. Oh my god! Holy fucking shit, man! That was shit, a beautiful man. counter! Man, he's oh. going to the back one more time! By God! Oh my God! And now he's laying him down again, possibly trying to finish him off. He's got that small sign. Is he gonna try and hit him again? No, he's out. What the fuck is he doing? He's putting him up. He's setting it up under his legs. He's got one up under. Oh my God! Is he set him up? Oh fuck no! He's trying to set him up for a figure four leg lock! For someone his size, uh, his lower leg can't handle that! Uh, oh my god! Uh, yes! Uh, he's got a fully cinched uh, dead! He's got a fully uh, cinched uh, with that slow caution sighting! Uh, Holy fucking uh, shit! Oh my god, now he's got him locked in! Ask him! Use this, do you quit! Oh my god! He's got a sign now! There's no escape! Uh, uh, I quit! I quit! Oh I quit! Oh my god! He said it! He said it! He said I quit! This match is over! Coach is gonna be a contender for the Hardcore North Wrestling title! Holy fucking shit! Oh my god! That was brutal finally getting to say I quit after that! I would have never imagined though. Look at he's got that slow caution sign set up right in between his legs. And then applying pressure right where it hurts. But just to make sure he has 100% efficiency, hit him right where it hurts, he had to pull that sign back. And he asked the cameraman to ask him if he says, I quit. And then eventually he does say the dreaded words, I quit. The following contest is set for one fall and is a playground match. Making his way to the ring first, from Barrow, Alaska, The Reaper! And his opponent, from Detroit, Michigan, Barboza! Hello fans and welcome to our main event of Hardcore North Wrestling. I'm your shitty commentator, Wubs Welker here, for the Reaper going up against Barboza. We've seen a lot of Barboza with a ruthless, aggression kind of style of wrestling, making his second match in Hardcore North Wrestling. The Reaper making his debut now in our main event, obviously making his first. With these two aggressive styles, I have a feeling we have a good matchup. Oh my god! Holy fucking shit, dude! Did you just see that, guys? The Reaper just got slammed, a double slam right to the hood of the camper. And now the Reaper's being picked up again. We could see a third one. No, he's got his feet right in front of the camper. And he slits him up. And, nice off. and a very nice DDT. What a great counter by the Reaper. Great uh, field IQ by the Reaper to have noticed that the front of the camper was right there. Kicked up his legs and managed to flip around Barboza and catch him in a really nice devastating DDT. And a bitch slap by Boza. And another bitch slap by Barboza. Holy shit. This could be a standoff kind of type of wrestling. Oh, now he's got him in a chokehold. He's got him in the stomach with that hockey stick. And now he's choking him out. He's choking out the Reaper with his hockey stick. He's got him down. Pitfalls and submissions don't count in this battlefield. You have to get him to a playground setting in order for anything to count. No matter what, this match will end somewhere in a playground. Otherwise, this match is just going to go on forever. And now he's got it set up by the crotch area. Oh, my God. He just stomped him up with that hockey stick right to the dick. Oh my god, that is some dirty wrestling by Barboza. Is that how they handle that shit in Detroit? Oh my god, and the Reaper's got one of his hockey sticks telling him to back off. Now that's really ironic, actually. We've seen that twice already. One with uh, U Eugene already in our uh, other main event. And now he's hitting him back on the legs with that hockey stick. Barboza's a somewhat uh, big guy. So I don't know how he can handle himself up in those uh, injured legs of his. And now the Reaper's got him up. Barboza's going to have to walk in. Oh my god, now he hits him on the back of the head and he's forced down. And what the fuck, what the fuck is the Reaper doing? Oh my fucking god. There's no way, he's gonna go for something hardcore. 
Oh my god! What the fuck is he gonna do? Barboza's still right there! Oh my god! Stop! Oh my god! Barboza just rolled out of the way at the last second! The Reaper, not only landing awkwardly right on his knees and his ankle, comes up empty in his hardcore high-flying maneuver. The Reaper obviously can't fight back right now because he's gonna have a little time to, uh, reflect on his failed move. The Reaper can't do this, man. Oh my god, a nice shoulder tackle! Another one, too. Ouch. And look at the strike of Barboza. He's got him up in a fireman's carry. What's he going to do with him this time? The Reaper can't care. Oh, my God. Right to the back of the camp. Oh, my God. Right to the wall again, slamming him back again. And now he's getting him up his arm. He just tosses away the Reaper. He's had enough of that for now. By God. You can say all about the Reaper with his great technical wrestling. But you guys, oh, my God. And another selected shot right to the knee again. You can talk about his technical wrestling, but he's been straight up outclassed by his strength of Barboza. And now they're setting this up in the camper. They're going to fight in the fucking camper, dude. Oh, my God. Wonder what's going to happen here. The Reaper's still hurt, man. Oh, my God. What a furious bitch slap. And another one. And a third one. Oh, my God. Now he finally catches him. Saying, you can't see me. Oh, my God. Holy fuck. And he puts him down in the sink. He slams it down in the sink, and now he's forced him in. There's a bunch of sharp glass and a lot of dangerous uh, weapons and projectiles here. Now he's going to try and force him out of the ring. There's glass right there. There's still glass in that window, and he's going to try and force him out. He's getting him right by the crotch area, almost by his uh, stomach, right by his ribs. Oh, my God. Now he just fucking slammed out Barboza right by the refrigerator. Oh, my God. Holy fucking shit. Right to the hardwood wall of that camper. The Reaper had a great advantage coming into the camper, but he realizes that Barboza has an environmental advantage in there and decided to finally get out there. And he tries to stand up for a clothesline, but Barboza still doesn't want to go down. And he's telling him to get up, and he kicks him right to the stomach. Can we see? Oh my god, yes! A flip over DDT! This could be possible payback for that Reaper DDT that he tried earlier. And there's that German Shepherd again from our first match! What the fuck is he doing?! He just randomly decided to come back, and now the Reapers got him in a in a submission hold. Holy fucking shit, dude. Barbosa's getting him up. That dog is still just sitting here. I don't know what's going on with that dog, to be honest. But I can assure you, it's really nothing good. Sticking its business in places that it doesn't belong. And now he's got him up in another fireman's carry. And he's taking him somewhere. What the fuck? Dude, we've seen him do this before in his other match, too. He's dragging him out this time on a fireman's carry. Where the fuck are they going? Dude, this could really end up anywhere. I think he's setting him up for the uh, the playground. And yeah, two hours later, we finally come to these fuckers. Yes, they've set each other up in the playground. This is where the pinfalls and submissions will be counted. And the Reapers had the had the living shit beaten out of him. And now he's punching him down. He's going to try and get him possibly into a last resort. Oh my god, yeah, he's setting him up. Are we going to see another DDT? Possibly. Oh my god. Yes, a third DDT! A future shock! Holy fuck! He hit him right in there, burying him in that dirt. What's he going for? Oh my god. Ashes to ashes. They all fall down. Oh my god, this is so fucked up. There's no way he's going to try this. No way! No fucking way! Oh my god! Holy fucking shit! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh my fucking god! One, two, three! And there's the matchup right there! Fucking The Reaper just won in his debut match against Barboza! And he's signaling the end for him! That was an amazing exploding crossbody! We have to see that one more time! My God, I would have not thought I'd see anything like that. I would have thought he was trying to go for like a shoulder block or an axe handle, but no, he did a full-on exploding cross face from those swings. Possible symbolic shit. And look at that explosion. That's going to hurt more than anything. And with this victory in his debut match, the Reaper, alongside Youngblood and Prez Komori, will become a contender to be the first ever Hardcore North Wrestling Champion.